It's a very tragic news for the world of football. There's a mission for you. What we know at this hour is that a plane carrying 72 passengers, Ready? including members of Tapacuense, a Brazilian soccer team, and nine crew members crashed southeast of the sea. Two May the force be with us. Get in PG-13. Get your tickets now. In Bolivia. Ivan, we're getting word that there are five survivors, like you mentioned, including one member of the Chapacuense team. The search and rescue efforts are well underway. The mayor of Medellin said they have spared no effort to find survivors. Let's take a listen. Lamentable. It is a regrettable situation, and we can confirm the accident of the plane that was carrying the players. We are accompanying the teams necessary for Medellin, the firefighters and ambulance crews. The important thing here, seeing that there might be survivors, is saving lives. That's first and foremost. So we're here supporting them on this very, very sad story. They have our solidarity. So do their families, their friends, their countries. It's sad and regretful. And I have an access to the site of the accident is not easy. We're talking about rugged mountains and a high altitude. Chapacuense was on its way to play game one of two in the South American Cup. The match was to be held, listen to this, on Wednesday in Medellin and then the second one on December 7th in Brazil. To put it in perspective, Ivan, this is the secondary South American club competition, the equivalent to the Europa League competition for those people familiar with European soccer. Back to you. Uh, Rafael, you know, it's very early. We don't have any confirmation of any specific casualties or uh, injuries as a result of this crash. But judging by what that official was just saying, saying the words sad over and over again suggests that, that this could be a very tragic accident that took place. Are you hearing any response at all from the hometown of the, the Brazilian football team? Any response from supporters or, or the club itself? Yeah, not too long ago, we, we uh, got a statement from the football club itself uh, saying that due to conflicting reports uh, from authorities and from the media, they were not going to issue any official confirmation on what was the fate of the players. What they're saying, however, is that uh, they, 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 they say, God be with our athletes, God be with our players, journalists, and other members of the delegation that were on that flight.